Good morning everyone, this is Main Poo with another video. So I was reading around and found things that could help lower my CPU temp on the Acer Nitro 5. I wasn't having any problems, but what the hell, it couldn't hurt. Lower is always better. I did three five minute benchmarks. The first bench is not altered. The other two are under, under voted with the following negative 0.110 and negative 0.130. I sped up the video during this time so you wouldn't have to wait in real time. The next section I played the game Assassin's Creed Origins with normal voltage and the under voltage setting of negative 0.130. I picked the highest setting so I could really make the laptop get hot. Cool Boost is also enabled and will be for the remainder of all my videos that I make with this laptop, of course. I did see an improvement in temperature as much as 8 to 10 degrees. That was awesome. The flip side of that is what I noticed in the form of FPS decrease. I think a small sacrifice in frames is well worth the longevity of the components not damaged by too much heat. It, it wasn't really that bad. It was maybe five or six frames. Could it be less than that? But you know, it's Assassin's Creed, so it just depends on where you were or where you are in the game. And that's the really weird part about it. And I'm going to blame Assassin's Creed for the funny FPS. Under, under voting just reduces access voltage given to the CPU and that's all it does. Many advantages that I've been reading about such as having the CPU be cooler, um, less fan noise, and more battery life out of a laptop. And from back in the old days, isn't overclocking responsible for FPS changes? So that is really weird to me. Just have a look for yourself. I may do this again when I find a better benchmark to test it on in which the control and the test are exactly the same. Maybe I'll try it on a game that has like an, an in-game benchmark like the Final Fantasy one that was pretty good at stressed out a lot of computers. And I think there may be some that I can find online for free. And when I find that, I will be doing longer benchmarks just to make sure that this laptop will be stable because five minutes, even though we did see results, five minutes is not a long time to make sure that a system is stable. I'm pretty sure all those overclockers out there know this. So when the time comes and I get a chance to do the test to let this laptop run, for, uh, I think I saw a setting on here where you can like run it for like a day or more and I'll try that. There were a lot of variables because of the characters and items on screen that really makes a difference. I hope that this video helps some of you because it's been asked a lot. If it helps you just leave me a like I really appreciate it and that's all I have for now. Peace, be safe and have a great day. Oh, one more thing. If you have a game that you would like me to try, just let me know. And if I have it, I will try it on this uh, laptop here, the Acer Nitro 5. And if I don't have it, I'll try to get it if I get the funds. Okay? Um, again, have a great day. And thanks. Hey, I'm
Oh. Mm-hmm. 